All right, what's up, Chainsaw Shack? Brody here. Some more tips for you. Somebody asked me on one of my videos the other day to make a video explaining why their chains are stretching so fast, which I'm going to explain the chains don't really actually stretch, they wear. Uh, usually it's because of the bar groove in the saw bar. There's usually full of dirt and oil can't get out through the saw, out the bar. And sometimes it's because they're running used oil, which is the stupidest thing you can do. Uh, used oil is wasted. It's waste oil. It's called waste oil for a reason. There is no tackifiers in used oil that comes out of your engine oil, whatever the hell you're re trying to recycle it from. It's garbage. There is lithium added to bar oil to give it tack so it doesn't just fling off and it gives it a higher shear. So that way, you know, it, it doesn't just break the oil down, which you're already running broke down oil. If you're running used oil, the oil molecules are already sheared and have no lubricating properties left, especially for a bar that's going to make it run hotter. It's going to wear faster. Uh, the, the bar oil, the used oil, oil that you're going to run is uh, acidic. It's going to eat up your oil tanks, your oil lines, anything metal that it gets on. It's corrosive. It's very cancerous after it's been used. It's just totally junk oil, and you shouldn't be running it in your, on your bars. And if you think it's all right and you've been running it for years, then you, I can just imagine what your bar looks like. It's probably burned up with no paint on it. Uh, another issue would be running chains that look like this this is a dull chain you can see the tip is cut off of this chisel chain it's wore out it's just wore out it just needs sharpened you know and when you start running chains like this you're just generating more heat making sawdust real it's real fine that's going to go through your that fine sawdust pass right through your air filter you know for one it collects right in the motor and it just generates a lot more heat and it heats up the bar, the chain, and again, it causes more stretching, which is actually where what happens on your chains is these pins right here. You get this pointer here. These pins right here, they, they, they don't, they wear. You're getting wear around these pins. And that's where you're getting your stretch from. So it's not that chain's actually stretching, it's wearing. So the more it's, it stretches, the more war the chain is. So they wear around these pins. That's what's causing you the, the stretching appearance. So, you know, and, and basically, I'm gonna go over this bar right here real quick. This came off of a customer saw. This is a bar groove cleaner. Now, you know, these guys are gonna argue they use picks and they got all this, and this hacksaw blade and all these gimmicks these aren't very expensive this is an actual bar groove cleaner i bought this for this purpose to do this you just take this let me see if i can get all this in camera while i'm watching but you're basically going to take this it hooks into the bar you're going to put it into the bar and you're going to pull it back and you can see the crap coming out of the bar Basically, you're going to keep doing that until the bar groove is clean. It's going to keep doing that a couple times. And once you clean that bar groove out, oil can get out through your bar. That's in your bar. Your bar can't oil with that crap in it. That's why my bars look like new, and the paint don't wear off of them, because they oil well, and I run good bar, bar oil, and I don't run dull chains. My bars don't run hot. Even after a hot day out, and running, just getting done running a saw, my bar and chains, you know, they'll get warm, they'll get hot, but they won't be like other guys that can't even touch their bar and chain. It's so smoking hot, it'll burn the shit out of you. You know, th this, my saws, no. They get warm, they're not that bad. You know, you won't be able to, you won't have no trouble adjusting my chain and touching my bar and chain after I got done running my saw because my saw isn't generating that heat. 
and all that heat that you generate from running used oil, not ha having a bar that can oil well because the groove is, is filled with oil, you know, dirt and oil, uh, sawdust, uh, that heat transfers right down into the clutch and right into the main bearings of the saw. And all that heat builds up into the saw and it causes the saw to work harder. And not only that, the cylinder and the piston overheat too when you start running dollar chains and everything's hotter. Before long, you know, that's why you see a lot of homeowner saws and MS-170s with scored pistons. They've been running dull chains, chains that ain't oiling well, and they're forcing the saw to cut, and it overheats the whole saw, and boom, there you are. Uh, one other tip is after you clean the bar groove out, you want to find the oil hole on the saw, which is right here. You might take a pick and clean that out and make sure that oil hole is open. You want to check both sides, especially the side that's going to be mounted close, you know, to the saw. This would go if you're mounting this side of the bar to the saw side, then you want that side of the oil hole open for sure so it can oil. And another tip is to flip your bar once in a while. These aren't one-way bars; these can be run upside down. This guy has been running this bar straight up this way with the name up straight up the whole time because it's all it's got a burr built up on the bottom of this bar here I don't know if I can get it in here where you guys can see it but it's got a lip right there that's from running it on all one side there's not one here he never flips his bar so his bar doesn't wear evenly you know that's a bad thing you can't dress the bars with a flat file and take take that burr off and get rid of it Just do it all on all sides and then you can also if the rails aren't even which his aren't you can take a, a flat you know a flat file and run it across and even the uh, rails back out and then your chain will start riding better too and won't be walking all around and cutting funny I'm gonna have to dress this bar but I'm just giving you a demonstration real quick like some of the bar maintenance some of the tips to keep your chain from stretching and wearing and having all those problems. Those are just some quick pointers, man. So I hope this helps somebody out. You guys have a great day out there. This is Brody with the Chainsaw Shack. I'm gone.